Am I ready? Hey, am I ready? A lot of excitement. Awesome. This is going to be fun. All right. Uh, my name is Thomas Cox, and I own a company called Meal Fit. And what we specialize in is uh, making healthy meals for people, uh, busy people, people that don't like to cook, all these different types of things. We've had clients in over 25 countries, thousands of people in over 25 countries, but we do meal plans digitally. So we can only help you. If you love to cook, we've got recipes, grocery lists, all those different types of things that we can send you, whether you're in Gainesboro, whether you're in Africa. It does not matter to us. We can send that anywhere we want to. Now, the actual food part of what we do, there's so many different things that we do. But what we're going to do today is we're going to show something pretty simple. I've got my amazing assistant, Jana. Everybody wave to Jana. Okay. She's going to be helping me today with some things. And what we're going to do, the first, we're going to make two things. The first thing we're going to make is a shrimp scampi. So it's really, really simple. Now, let me say this. All this kitchen stuff, there's a couple guys asking me, thinking this was my kitchen. This is not my kitchen. Danny Lee, the very attractive man over there, leaning over on the table right there. This is Danny Lee. All this stuff is his, and they do all this. So if you have a question about the kitchen, see Danny over there. So what we're going to do today is make a shrimp scampi, but we're going to make it with zucchini noodles as opposed to regular pasta noodles. Now, what we're going to do, all this stuff here, is bought at like Kroger and Aldi and Walmart. None of this stuff is fancy. That's the one thing we're not. We are not fancy in the things that we do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a little olive oil in our pan right here. Again, this pan is 25 bucks from Sam's. Nothing fancy at all about this. I've got the heat on medium high. And then we're going to take a little garlic. Okay, about a tablespoon of garlic. There. I'm going to make double batch. So I'm going to have a lot of garlic in there. And I like garlic. Okay. Now, the one thing I'll say, if you don't like to cook and you think you can't cook, I wasn't born with a cooking gene. I just got in the kitchen and played and had a good time. That's the only thing I did. So we got some garlic, we got some olive oil, and we got some crushed red pepper. You see how fancy this crushed red pepper is? This came from Aldi. Okay? So again, we're not super fancy with what we're doing. So I'm going to get this fragrant. The one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to burn this uh, this garlic. You burn the garlic, the whole dish is not going to be very good. So keep an eye on it. If it starts turning color, you may want to pull it off and pull the heat down. So what I've got here is I just bought shrimp from Kroger, tail off, raw shrimp, really, really easy. So all I'm going to do is take this and put this in here with this oil. You smell it, the garlic cooking, really, really easy. Okay, we're just going to take this shrimp and put it in here. Now the one thing that people do a lot of time with shrimp and chicken is they overcook it. Don't overcook shrimp, okay? It doesn't take long to do it. All we want to do is just get it to be a little bit pink, okay? So we're going to cook this here. I'm going to turn this heat up just a little bit. We're going to get this cooking. This thing cooks a little slower than a full-on gas oven that I have, okay? Now, if any time you have any questions about what we're doing, Raise your hand. I'm glad to answer questions in any way that I can. So if you have any questions at all, please, please ask. Anyone? Yes? Questions? Awesome. Okay. So let me talk about this real quick. So one of the things that we use in like 90% of everything is our own seasoning. We have our own seasoning we make in-house. Very, very simple blend. We make it. We put it on everything from rice to vegetables to chicken to pork. To be, everything, we, we can put it on a car bumper. I think it would taste really, really good. Okay? So we have some of this. And we're just going to season this just a little bit. Nothing crazy. So how, how do you know when shrimp is done? Okay? When it's got that pink look to it, and it's pink on both sides, it is done. Nothing fancy. All right? Now... While this is finishing up cooking, what I'm going to do is this looks like a very fancy machine, okay? You can get one of these at Walmart. You can go to Amazon. You go type in Spiralizer on Amazon. There's a thousand of these things that pull up, okay? The reason I have this one is because a, a buddy of mine who's a professional chef recommended this for me to get this one. I can send you the link. No big deal. But what this can do, this can make noodles out of just about anything. I can make noodles out of zucchini, I can make noodles out of sweet potatoes, I can make noodles out of regular potatoes, all those different types of things. This thing is absolutely amazing, especially if you're trying to avoid there's really, really starchy carbs that are impossible and things like that. So what we're going to do, now the key to this thing is, thank you, John. The key, what we're going to do is we're going to 
insert it there at the front, and then we're going to squeeze it together. Oh, broke. Thanks for laughing, John. Okay. We'll go there. All we're going to do is it's tearing. Hold on. I'm down. Okay. It's spin. It's just going to make noodles. Okay. So we're going to stop pile these noodles. We're going to run about three or four of these. Got to squeeze it together. Our shrimp is almost done. So, the key with these spiralizers is making sure the piece of zucchini is straight. Now, this takes less time doing this than if you're going to have to boil water and do regular pasta. Plus, I think it tastes better. Now, one of the keys, in my opinion, people ask me all the time, you know, about cooking and things like that. What's the key? One of the major things that you need to do if you're going to really cook in the kitchen is you need to have a great sharp knife. You don't need a set of 45 knives. You need one very good knife that's sharp. All right, so we've got some zucchini noodles going. Now what I want to do is I'm going to remove the shrimp from the pan and set this aside. So I've got a good mix of shrimp and garlic on here. And what I'm going to do in a minute is I'm going to add this back into the meal. Now the thing about this is that I like is this is quick. I'm going to have a snack and an entire meal ready for you in less than 30 minutes, which the snack portion of what we do, we get asked about that on a daily basis. Hey, what do I need to eat in between meals? What do I need to eat in between meals? So what we've got here is we've got our garlic. Now, here's what happened. A little bit of this garlic's burned, so all I'm going to do is just pull some of it off right there. I've got plenty on there. I'm going to take my olive oil, put it back in the pan. It's nice and hot, so what I'll do is take this. I'm going to take some lemon juice, okay? Put it in. A little bit of white cooking wine. Not much. This is what, this is what they call, it's a very fancy word. It's called deglazing your pan. It's all the bad stuff off the bottom. So we're going to let that go for just a second. And all we're going to do is add our noodles in. Thank you, ma'am. I'm going to do this last, watch out. I'm going to do this last zucchini. Some of you ladies were cringing when she had her hand in that pan, weren't you? <laughs> Seasoning on here. We've got some of the seasoning today if you want it. Again, you can put this on cereal and make cereal great. Salt, pepper, a little granulated garlic, and just a little bit of sugar. Very, very basic. We played with it, played with it, played with it. All right, now, it's done. Okay, so all we're going to do is we're going to take this shrimp, put it back in here. And your meal is done. And I did that in about 11 minutes. Not too bad. Okay. And you saw none of this stuff was really prepared. 
per se. Granted, I had the lemon juice measured out, all that kind of stuff. But you see, it was not, it's not rocket science, okay? The thing that I want to make sure that people do is I want to make sure that people are not afraid to get in the kitchen, number one. And don't be afraid, how are you? Then don't be afraid to try different things. The bulk of you probably go to the grocery store every week and you buy the same things every week. Is that not correct? If that's you, raise your hand. Nobody wants to raise your hand. Yeah, exactly. Okay? That's the way it is, okay? Expand your horizons, get a little bit outside the, uh, outside the norm, and experiment a little bit. If you mess it up, you mess it up. Who cares? It's not like you've never messed up a meal before, okay? But experiment with the things that you, you see on the TV or you see we make on, hey, if you see something we post on Facebook or Instagram or something like that, and you want the, the recipe, email us. Me or Natalie One will send you the recipe. Hey, let me say this. There are no secrets. And for those of the people that think there's a secret, there are no secrets. We don't have anything to hide, okay? We are more than willing to share anything that we have. So, we've got this recipe. This is done. Natalie's going to take this. She's going to put out some samples for you guys to taste in just a minute. I know y'all are thinking. Some samples, so. so here, here's this. Okay, so the next thing we have. Okay, so how many of y'all like peanut butter and jelly? If you don't, raise your hand, you're lying. Okay, so the, the thing that we've had in the last probably five or six years is there's been a very, very high awareness of peanut allergies. Does, does anybody know anybody has a uh, does anybody know anybody has a peanut allergy? Okay, when I was a kid, I knew one kid that had a peanut allergy. That's it. Now, there are kids everywhere that have all these different peanut allergies, okay? And so what we've done is I've made a almond butter and jelly energy bite. So what we have is we have a handful of ingredients. We're going to put them in this food processor, and we're going to make these energy bites. I've got some up here for you guys to sample, but it's very, very simple. Now, people ask all the time. We have an industrial kitchen. We cook for... About 700 people yesterday, if you count the two events we did last night, our salad bar yesterday, and our catering events yesterday. So we have, we cooked for like 700 people. We used this blender, this food processor, that I got from Sam's. Okay? I love it. It's absolutely amazing. It's like 100 bucks. You get this. You get a blender with it. You get a little cup that goes with it. It's awesome. This is what we use to make a lot of like our dressings. All of our dressings that we make on our salad bar are made from scratch. We use this. So, we got three of them, but this is what we use. They're really, really good. So, what we're going to do, we'll make an almond butter and jelly bite. So, I've got some dates. Again, all this stuff was bought at Kroger or Walmart. So, nothing fancy. Not like I've got some dates. I've got some almonds. And I've got some almond butter. And that's it. Now, this is going to be loud. So, I'm just going to tell you. And it's going to take a second. So, what we're going to do is we'll put this on here and let this blend. It's going to have to go for probably a minute, okay? Now, what we're going to have to do is about two or three times during this process, we'll have to get in here and I'll have to take a spatula and just kind of take it off the sides, okay? You will know when it's done, when it starts to go around the blender of the food processor and it starts to clump. When it starts to clump together, that's when you know it's done. When, it's, when it starts to clump, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it to Donna. I'm going to give it to Donna and Donna's going to make little mini balls out of it. Okay? Okay, so you're probably... Probably halfway done right there. Doesn't look like a whole lot. So put it back on. Now, if you're not afraid of a peanut allergy thing, personally, I love the way peanut butter tastes. Okay? Everybody said amen. Okay? <laughs> so, I love it. I love peanut butter. But we've got a lot of friends that we cook for that their kids have, like, Deathly, deathly allergies of peanuts. Of peanuts. And so we avoid them at all costs, okay, in our kitchen. It's not to say we haven't used them in the past, but now we don't use them just simply because we have a lot of people that, that are in that world these days. Okay, 
But you can see it. You see that starting to clump? We'll go check it again. Alright. So it's starting to clump in there, if you can see that. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw this out and let Jonna take care of it. Okay. All she's going to do is just make little balls out of it. Just kind of roll it in her hand. So this is so so you have no excuse to say I can't do that. An eight-year-old's doing it. Okay. She's an amazingly talented eight-year-old and an amazingly beautiful eight-year-old, but she can do it. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to make the jelly side. The jelly side has got dried blueberries in it. Okay, again, got these at Walmart. They're not fancy. Dried blueberries, go ahead. Almonds, and then some more dates. We're going to run this again. That's perfect. We're going to run this. Now, the most powerful substance in the world, in my opinion, is water. You can heat water up and make amazing things. It can be cold and do amazing things. So what you're going to have to do with this, is this is going to spin for a little bit. After it spins, it's not going to quite be as clumpy. So I'm going to take a spoonful of water and put it in here, and it's going to be awesome. It just helps bind everything together. It's really crazy how good it works. So we're going to let this run for just a second. Now, also, some of you like grape jelly. Some of you like strawberry jelly. You can get any kind of dried fruit you want and do this. Okay? So you can take this recipe and do dried strawberries, dried mangoes, whatever you want to do. Okay? Peanut butter, all those different types of things. So make this your own. The one constant you're going to need is dates. Okay, dates are the thing that helps hold everything together. Okay. So let's look at this. It's kind of grainy. It moves around in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of water in here. You saw how much that was. That wasn't hard either. All right, look. You see how it's automatically stopped? What we're going to do is we're going to scrape it. And here in a second, it will start to clump together as it goes around. See that? That means it's done. So all we're going to do is take this. Put it out here. So, John is going to take, has, hold it up, hold up one of those. She's going to take a, a little almond butter ball and then a quote jelly ball. Take it. Roll it together. Show them what they got. Almond butter and jelly. Okay. Now, we've got them over here. If you'd like to try one, try one. Um, so, She's still late. <laughs> yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Do not have a season with no salt. I have it with no sugar. I have a Whole30 because Whole30 seems like it's the craze right now. I've got a Whole30 blend. It's in red. But hey, you're the second person this week that's asked me about seasoning with no salt. So I've already put me and my team on working to get that because I get that that's a that's a high it's a high, high priority. I love salt. My dad said, my dad used to tell me that salt would give your blood strength and grind all the bad things out. So, I don't know how true that is, but that's what dad said. We've got a Whole30 blend and we've got just our regular blend there. So, any questions? Anything else? Please ask. Any questions about our business? Questions about what we did here? Anything at all? Yes, ma'am. We came in late, so your business is based out of Cookville. Yes, ma'am. Where are you located? Uh, 102 North Cedar, right? Across the street from the burn, next to Father Tom's, next to Red Silo, right, right behind the big Cream City sign. Everybody knows the Cream City. Yeah, see, everybody goes, oh yeah. Everybody knows the Cream City. Is. So, do you have? Are you the one? I mean, I've been over there. Are you the one that has things to go? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Like so, dinner's all made up, and you can grab it and take it home and make. Yes, ma'am. So.